when we look around, we know this is a tense time. A lot of sad things happening in our country. And I just want to take a minute to highlight this, that for our church, we are completely against racism against racism in every form, uh, personal, systematic. And the reason we are is because God's against racism. And it's so clear in the Bible. And we think about Jesus and how the gospel and Jesus are diametrically opposed to racism and against all forms of racism. And we want to tackle injustice like Jesus tackled injustice. So we are against racism. And what are we for? We are for kindness honor, quality, love. We want to live this out together. So, well, where do we start right now? And we need to be listening to each other, understanding. We need to forgive. We need to repent. We need to uh, grow in our levels of honesty and depth in our conversations. We need to learn. And we want to be part of a meaningful change, not just in the sound, but we want to see this around the nation. The desire that we have for the country right now with a lot of division, a lot of pain, a lot of hurt. We need a lot of healing. And ultimately, this is all pointing us to Jesus. We need Jesus right now in America in so many ways. And he is the one who heals deep wounds. He is the one who brings hope. He is the one who restores relationship. He is the one who helps us to really love each other and love our neighbor well. And let's uh, continue to draw close to the Lord and let him take over in our lives. Maybe there's some dark areas. And let him take over in terms of forgiveness, grace, understanding, and what we need in our relationships right now.